In this video, we'll go over a couple examples of physical applications of integrals. Now, the first one deals with mass um, and density. Now, density is the concentration of mass in an object and is usually measured in units of mass per volume, for example, grams per uh, cubic centimeters. An object with uniform mass satisfies the basic relationship that the mass is equal to density times volume. But now, if the density of the object varies, then we must uh, use calculus to determine the mass of the object. So let's first look at the mass of a one-dimensional object. And let's suppose a thin bar or wire is represented by a line segment on the interval um, x is between a and b with a density function rho, so that's the Greek letter rho, uh, with, again, units of mass per length. The mass of the object is given by the uh, integral formula that the mass is equal to the integral from a to b of rho of x uh, dx. So let's first look at an example. Um, now let's say if we have a uh, thin 2 meter bar represented by the interval x is from 0 to 2 um, is made of an alloy whose density in units of kilograms per mass is given by rho of x equals to 1 plus x squared. What is the mass of the object? So from using the formula that we just discussed, that the mass is equal to the integral from, again, a to b, which in this case would be from 0 to 2 of our density function, which is the 1 plus x squared dx. And so now we just integrate this. So this would be um, the integral of 1 plus x squared. So that you'd have x plus 1 third x cubed um, evaluated from 0 to 2. So just plugging that in. So plugging in 2, we get what? Uh, 2 plus 8 thirds minus, so if we plug in uh, 0, we'd get 0 for both of the terms. So that'll be uh, 2 plus 8 thirds, so that'll be what? Um, 6 thirds plus 8 thirds, so that would equal to 14 thirds. So that would be the mass of that bar. So that's how you would calculate it for like a one dimensional object, like a wire or a string, where we consider the thickness as negligible. Um, now let's talk about the mass of a circular object. Now for this one, um, this again, we're talking about a circle, so we say uh, if we have a two-dimensional disk of radius r. Now the way that you would calculate the mass in this case is that we let rho of x again be an integral function representing the radial density of a disk of radius r then the mass of the disk is given by the mass is equal to the integral from 0 to r, which again the radius, of 2 pi x times rho of x dx. So looking at an example, let's let rho of x equal to x squared represent the radial density of the disk. So that's again, we're saying that that gives the density out of the um, disk that it goes from it's uh, goes from the center of the disk outwards based on this density function. Now calculate the mass of a disk of radius three. So using that formula, the mass would equal to the integral from zero to the radius, so from zero to three, of two pi x times rho of x, so that'd be in this case x squared dx. So let's see, let's, we could put that 2 pi, so this would be the same thing as the integral of 2 pi, or sorry, a 2 pi times the integral of, from 0 to 3 of x cubed dx. So that'd be 2 pi, and then the integral of the x cubed, so you get what, 1 fourth x to the fourth evaluated from 0 to 3. So plugging in 3 and also multiplying that 2 times that 1 fourth, that we get 81 
over 2 pi, then minus 0, because that's what we get when we plug in 0. So that would be the uh, mass of this uh, di circular disk working um, with this r radial density function.